Hey everyone, Thorn and Smash here, and today we're going to talk about how Respawn has stated they have a couple plans to rework the rank system going into Season 13, and we are also going into the last half of Season 12 today with the Split 2 taking over and map changes. So we're going to cover that. We're also going to give out 45 bucks today. All you got to do is like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill. But now let's talk about the state of rank. So we are finally starting the second split of rank Season 12, and we will be rotating maps to King's Canyon away from Olympus. Now this split is actually going to be shorter than the first one. And Season 12 is estimated to end on May 10th. We know this because we are actually getting the Unshackled thematic event launching on April 19th. And credit to Bias12 who went ahead and shared some of the files that showed Season 13 would be getting that update patch on May 10th. And that is when the new store rotation would happen for it. During this split, we will also have another limited time mode return. And that will also be in the Unshackled event. And it will be Flashpoint, which will be having healing bubbles placed over the map. And this will be taking place on Olympus. And we're even going to start getting teasers this week for season 13 as Shrugged Hall let us know a couple of locations and someone who leaks actually showed us a sea monster roaring which is in anticipation of a new point of interest for the storm point map in season 13. But that's not going to be the only thing that gets a big change in season 13 or a rework as a senior producer for Respawn Josh Medina when confronted about the statistics and the de-ranking issue within the rank system for Apex Legends stated we better get a hashtag come season 13 that says thanks Respawn for saving Apex ranked meaning they have huge changes in store for it. Some of you may be wondering what is the issue with ranked this season? Well, there are 148,000 Master and Predators in PC. There are 132,000 Masters and Preds in PlayStation, 35,000 on Xbox, and 7,612 on the Nintendo Switch. And that is a far larger amount of people in that rank than have ever been in before. And that mainly comes on the heel of Respawn changing the fact that placement became much more important in Season 12. But in Season 11, they actually made it so that kills were more important. So it seems like they can't settle on kills and placement being the main prerogative in the game mode. And one thing a lot of players have been asking for is a sense of de-ranking. In fact, a user known as Light on Twitter actually put up the rank distribution with arenas with de-ranking. And as you can see, there is a much more solid flow on this chart here. It looks much smoother with people being able to de-rank back and forth and being settled into what they truly belong in. Whereas without de-ranking for BR, you can see that when people get to Diamond 4 or Plat 4, they get hard stuck there. Now, I don't have an opinion one way or the other on whether de-ranking or not should be a feature in Apex Legends, but there are some statistics there that show that it might be at least worth an investment for a season or two to see if it works. In the season 12 patch notes, Respawn did state that winning and placement should be the most valuable thing, and that's why these changes were made, but it's also important to note that in Apex Legends Mobile, for their ranked settings, they actually have the ability to de-rank, so I don't know if it's them testing it in mobile to see if it works well, or if mobile is just going to have a completely different system, but I don't understand why in a battle royale that plays fairly similar, you would have one system in place for one version and not the other. After looking at some data, things could always change and this could be a feature we see going into season 13. Let me know down below what you guys think of the state of ranked in Apex right now. Also, I'm going to be giving out a $100 giveaway on this video right here, which is about the downfall of Halo Infinite and what really killed off that franchise. So if you want a chance to win the 100 bucks, just take a look at the video, leave a comment, make sure to watch all the way through as there is a code word in there and until next time legends keep slaying in the outlands and i'll see you out there